reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. I desire, therefore, that everywhere men should lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or disputing. In like manner, I desire women to dress modestly with decency and propriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds. Why is he reading this passage? I don't know, Prefect. I assure you it is not the one we agreed upon. Let a woman learn in quietness and in full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. This is the word of God. Amen. 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 Jesus himself knew this when he entrusted his holy legacy to 12 men. Men, not a woman among them. And yet, I know of some in Alexandria who admire and even trust in the word of a woman. The philosopher Hypatia. A woman who declared in public her ungodliness. A witch. Dignitaries, it is time for you all to reconcile yourselves with Christ. This is the word of God. Kneel before it and embrace its truths. Neil, is he not going to kneel? <laughs> is he not going to kneel? Christian as you are! 